is Jim Obermeyer, Price of Healer Ministries. Uh, I thought I'd make a video from my garden this morning. Well, I'm actually watering, as you can see, watering some of my plants. And uh, right here is a sycamore tree, and this tree was in the yard right in the middle of the patio when I moved in. And I thought, you know, I don't know if I want that in the middle of my patio. But on the other hand, um, for this morning, I'm just sitting there thinking maybe God had a purpose for it. Um, sycamore tree in the Bible is a symbol of, well, in the New Testament, Zacchaeus, you know, went up the sycamore tree to see Jesus. And Zacchaeus um, then was, uh, Jesus said, I'm coming to your house. And in symbolism, in Christianity, it's a symbol of uh, enlightenment of Jesus Christ and seeing the Savior. In Jewish life, the symbolism was very real. Um, a sycamore tree, the one behind me, is a symbol, well, it, it's called Ficus sycamorus in the Greek and, or the Latin, I should say, and it's uh, related to the fig tree, related to the mulberry tree. I grew up with mulberry trees back in Nebraska. I don't have any in my yard here, but I do have the, the sycamore. And in the Bible, if you remember, the sycamore was something that was a big tree. And here, this is just a few years old. This tree is probably four years old, that it was put in maybe three years ago, but it, it was a little older. Maybe it was a year or two older when they put it in. I don't know, but it's growing a lot, getting really big. It's right in the middle of my patio, as you can see. And, and at first I thought, you know, I don't know if I want a tree in the middle of the patio. Of course, now it's, it's providing shade. The birds love it. But I'm thinking about 9-11 this morning, and I'm thinking of how much of a warning it was that God allowed it to happen to our country. And it was a great chance for revival. And for a while, people did start going to church, you know, because there were many killed. I remember my neighbors, well, there are two stories I have. Somebody in my church that I was pastoring uh, was living in New York City at the time, and they were working in a building right near it. They, they could see the buildings being attacked from their building in New York City. And uh, this young woman's friend was to work in the trade tower. And he didn't go to work that morning. It's one of many stories I've heard. He slept in late accidentally, and because of that, his life probably was spared. My neighbor at the time um, in California where I was living, they had many friends that worked in the trade towers up in the top, and they were killed. And so there are a couple of stories that are very meaningful. But the thing that in the Bible, you know, the Bible was quoted Isaiah 9-11 was quoted by several officials in the government. The bricks have fallen, but we will rebuild with hewn stone. The sycamore has fallen, but we will replant with the cedar. And interestingly enough, yes, that was quoted that it had happened, but that quote it was taken totally out of context. It was a, a rebuke from God, and it was actually about judgment. So was this judgment? Well, our, our nation had a chance for revival at that time, and, and it happened maybe for a few weeks. People started going to church, and the churches were filled for a few weeks. And then it happened, nothing. There could have been a great revival, and, and it, it seemingly started, but people just don't, don't seem to listen, and uh, it should have turned our nation back to God, but it really didn't. In fact, our nation has gone further away from God. The sycamore tree that you see in the background here Interestingly enough, in the Harbinger, Jonathan Kahn, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, uh, talks about it and what God had shown him several signs and uh, or the warnings, I should say. And one was the sycamore has fallen or the sycamore has been destroyed and it was destroyed. There was a sycamore tree there. They actually afterwards put in a fake sycamore as a memorial, but they in the Bible it says, but we will put in a cedar, or a, um, actually the word in the Hebrew is an evergreen. And they did, they put in an evergreen tree there, and it died. Uh, that also maybe is a harbinger of, of something that, that God was not pleased with the fact that America did not turn back to God during this time in a very real and a very lengthy way. In other words, revival did not come. Now we have another chance for a revival as we see the leaders of our nation leading against God, against the Bible, and for ways of evil and wickedness. 
we need to come back to God. We need to listen to God at this time, and we need to think about the sycamore tree is a symbol of eternity and everlasting life, and yet in 9-11 the sycamore was destroyed. Let us not let that happen now. Let us turn back to God and in prayer and in reading of God's Word and in believing in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and following Him and following what He says to do, not what the the uh, country leaders tell us to do, which is to turn away from God. You know, uh, we are people, if we believe in God, we're people that want righteousness in our nation. We're people that want holiness in our nation. We're people that want our nation to come back to God because only then can we be truly, truly blessed. We are a blessed nation, but we want that to continue even more and more. And the only way that'll happen is if we turn back to God. So let's turn back to God today. Let, if you're away from God, come back to him. If you don't know him, Come to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you can know him. He wants to be your Savior and Lord. And it's as simple as asking him and saying, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive my sins. There could have been a great revival, and, and it, it seemingly started, but people just don't, don't seem to listen, and uh, it should have turned our nation back to God. But it really didn't. In fact, our nation has gone further away from God. The sycamore tree that you see in the background here, interestingly enough, in the Harbinger, Jonathan Kahn, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, uh, talks about it and what God had shown him several signs of the judgment on our nation and, uh, or the warnings, I should say. And one was the sycamore has fallen or the sycamore has been destroyed and it was destroyed. There was a sycamore tree there. They actually afterwards put in a fake sycamore as a memorial but they in the bible it says but we will put in a cedar or a, um, actually the word in the hebrew is an evergreen and they did they put in an evergreen tree there and it died uh that also maybe is a harbinger of of something that that god was not pleased with the fact that america did not turn back to god during this time in a very real and a very lengthy way in other words revival did not come now we have another chance for a revival as we see the leaders of our nation leading against god against the bible and uh, for ways of evil and wickedness we need to come back to god we need to listen to god at this time and we need to think about the sycamore tree as a symbol of eternity and everlasting life and yet in 9-11, the sycamore was destroyed. Let us not let that happen now. Let us turn back to God and in prayer and in reading of God's word and in believing in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and following him and following what he says to do, not what the, the uh, country leaders tell us to do, which is to turn away from God. You know, uh, we are people, if we believe in God, we're people that want righteousness in our nation. We're people that want holiness in our nation. We're people that want our nation to come back to God because only then can we be truly, truly blessed. We are a blessed nation, but we want that to continue even more and more. And the only way that'll happen is if we turn back to God. So let's turn back to God today. Let, if you're away from God, come back to him. If you don't know him, Come to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you can know him. He wants to be your Savior and Lord. And it's as simple as asking him and saying, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, come into my heart and to my life. Transform me. Make me into what you want me to be. And God will do it. Jesus will come in. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And he proved it. Jesus Christ is real. He proved it by the resurrection, where Jesus came back to life. Over 500 people saw him at once after the resurrection. So if you don't know Jesus, as I've said the prayer with you, pray it in your heart and just, you know, you don't even have to say that prayer. Just say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Come in. Come into my life, into my heart, and uh, he will do it he, as he promised. God bless you. This is Jim Obermeyer. Like us and subscribe to our channel and be uplifted and, and uh, know that God is real and that nothing is impossible with him. This is Jim coming from my backyard with the sycamore tree in the background. God bless you and God be with you.